Hi everyone, just come to share my little sewing journal today. Um, this is the one I was working on while I was doing the purple one. I like to do a bit of opposite, a bit of dark, a bit of light together. Uh, this is just a manila folder I've turned into a 6x9 envelope. Just the one signature. I've used a three hole pamphlet stitch. Uh, I think it has 14 pages front, 14 back. I just used an old wooden button and I've distress inked photo vintage my ribbon. Nice picture from Pinterest on the front cover and it's all modge podged. Over on the side. It's going to spring when I let it go in, so I'll just hold it back. So we start with a wee pocket. A little tag in there. This one's a um, wee old needle packet. <laughs> Sound like I'm half asleep, don't I? Just a wee image I got off Pinterest and made it up and inked it all. On the back we've got a uh, wee silk thread yarn image. And we've got a wee tuck spot here. Made a wee tag, and this is actually all for sewing pattern. Modge podged it onto the tag and inked it all up. And the lace daughter here is what I use on top when I do my inking of pages. And just some little stamp sewing ephemera here. A bit of real old lace at the top. Um, I do like to use a lot of black in a lot of my wee journals. So I'll put some black in this one, a little pocket. I've used a punch on the side. And a lovely stamp on my copy dye tags. Nice old sewing machine. I've mixed some copy dyed with some tea dyed papers in this one, so we've sort of got a bit of light and a bit of dark. And measuring tape, and a lovely old stamp. Over here we've got a tuck spot. This is just a little cardboard printout, and I've wrapped my uh, embroidery thread around it. And my dyed tags again. Just slip some there, some writing paper. I'm hoping this will show up. I can see it myself, but I'm not sure on camera. It's um, the tag I've made, and I've used an embossing folder, and it's all different old-fashioned styles and dress forms, mannequins. I call them dummies, but my husband tells me also. I was trying to think of the real name for them. On the back, just a couple of little tags for journaling spots. Stamped sewing ephemera. Another little tuck spot. It's a wee receipt for a sewing machine. A thimble and a singer sewing symbol. More pages for journaling on. Just a lot of fun inking it up and doing stamps here and there. Another little tuck spot. There we go. I think the coffee smell is getting to me. This is the middle page. I've put my bow in the middle again, tying it off. Um, some little wee tiny buttons I had. I sewed onto the button card. It's a little stamp tag with a sewing pattern on. And this one's also out of a sewing pattern. Just might have podged it on. There's pinking shears on the side for zigzag stitch effect. More little pages all copy dyed up. Just put some um, hand stitching here. Not very straight, but it's there. Line pages. Just a piece of old lace I had with some buttons on. Lovely big stamp again. And a negative space. And the old sewing machine on it. Sit in there. And this is the back of the uh, big tag with the embossing folder I used on it. Tag. So the sewing pocket, 
just a wee piece of paper that opens out so you can just put notes or whatever you want on it. This is part of the pattern as well and I've just stuck that down and stamped the scissors beside it. Here's the lace. Back end of the front pocket. And the last page, red tuck spot. Tag. And this one. I love the stamp. Body images. And captured. One, two, three, four, five, and I don't think mine's any of those. And the back page. Bit of lace and the big envelope pocket with some more tags inside there. So that's my sewing the uh, envelope journal. I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun making it. A lot of inking. Thanks very much for watching.